Hey, what's going on, guys? Cool, my kickings here. Welcome to the very last video in this series, Bitboard Chess Engine in C. So, I thought the release would be tomorrow, but uh, after some some cleanups, uh, BBC uh, made incredible results versus TSCP. I will now quickly walk through the updates that I've done within the source code. Uh, but the results are absolutely fantastic. So the latest tournament uh, is 97 percentage of wins. So it's gonna. Oh my god, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for me to read this. Uh, Fifteen uh, uh, and a half versus uh, uh, versus uh, a half. So. Uh, I want to say that uh, eventually TCP only managed to draw one game out of 15 games or six, uh, out of 16 games, sorry. And uh, the time control was blitz to uh, two minutes plus one second increment, just like they do on CCRL uh, when it comes to uh, blitz games, to raid the blitz game. That's that's what I saw on CCRL site. Now, very quickly, uh, I want to walk through the update. So there was, well, well first uh, I've added the license here. This is my favorite one. Uh, I just don't want to pronounce it to uh, not violate some UDA policies, but this is the, the my, my favorite license ever. And uh, if you just uh, search for updates, so uh, I've had this condition to fix uh, so-called illegal uh, empty move uh, bug fix. So uh, the the problem was that uh, when time was less than this value in milliseconds, uh, it just dropped too fast, and the PV table wasn't uh, wasn't just right in time to to get updated. And now, uh, uh, when I just got rid of this uh, of this sort of uh, delay, uh, it actually now working quite pretty nicely. And another uh, dramatic thing that. Well, most likely it's one, one of the keys to such a significant uh, strength growth. So if we just go to the hash size variable, uh, I just want to see that now it's uh, a different value. So uh, now it actually uh, around 20 megabytes uh, to uh, uh, taken from random access memory to serve BBC. Well, before this, it was, believe it or not, like 98 megabytes, which is a bit too much. Uh, I have no idea how, how I could do that, but anyway. So now when I reduce this to 20 megabytes, well, for some reason the results started to, to be better, which probably, maybe it's not really that good or something, but uh, at least I'm so satisfied with the results, so that nothing really much to say here. And uh, just want to quickly walk through, uh, well, at least a couple of games to give you an idea. So BBC is now playing whites. So let's quickly walk through the games. So it's quite a pretty solid chess at the moment. Just don't really want to uh, comment much. Uh, I will leave the link to the PGN in the description below this video so you would be able to examine this on your own. Okay. So this is how the game was going. Well, it's a bit too long, but actually. Uh, BBC didn't lose any single game in this match, so he just he was winning and winning and winning, and only one draw occurred along the way. So I hope I hope this is quite pretty impressive. You asked me, guys, to write a chess engine that is clearly better than TCP. Well, I hope this uh, is clearly better than TCP. So I hope this is this is it. I didn't yet test this versus uh, against Vice. It would be really interesting to see how it would perform. Uh, well, maybe just one more game. I just don't really want to spend much time on this. So, game, mm, list games, and this one. Or uh, maybe I just want to show you the Queen's Gambit accepted. That was the most disaster for. Uh, mm, I'm not sure. Oh, it's again some bugs in Arena. For some reason, I can't. Okay. Or if it, it, it wasn't like Queen's Gambit, uh, except it wasn't played here for some reason. Well, okay. At least, at least, well, at least this is something similar. Should be. So BBC is playing black. Well, I hope 
uh, it's winning this game yeah hopefully so BBC is playing black here and yeah well it's not exactly uh, it's not called Queen Gambit decline for some reason but literally it is uh, for some reason they call this gallery's gambit and even though the king safety seems to be exposed still eventually BBC would win this game believe it or not even though it, there are so many strong past pawns okay so just not a big deal really when you're searching like 11 plies versus 6 plies so it's much faster really okay and it just crushes and mates the opponent that's it and all the, all the other games are uh, uh, probably in like, like in the same fashion so feel free to watch them well, okay guys so uh, uh, I have uh, updated the source code uh, in the BBC's own repository at the moment so uh, now all the tutorials that were uh, uh, in my chess programming repos repository are now available here within the tutorials part and uh, later on I will separate this very first initial version that was ended up with this tutorial series uh, from the further versions that I would be working on later so just just to give this historical moment uh, a credit in future so j just to leave it like in a, in a separate place because it's it's quite pretty completed at the moment and it, it, I don't really want to uh, lose this initial version uh, regardless of how far the development process would go so this is basically it from my side and thanks for following the entire series uh well uh if you like the project if you want to support uh, if you want to show your appreciation you can support me on patreon right over in here so uh, uh i would be happy uh, really to get some a couple of dollars from you guys obviously it's not uh, it, it's not obvious for the actually it's not obvious but it would be pleasant for me and what else to say basically yeah, I will need to create a logo for my engine, and most likely this would be uh, in some ASCII, uh, ASCII art style, but it's not already uh, dedicated to coding, so I would probably do that on my own, but I will definitely share the logo with you guys. And the very last thing before I end, I just want to ask you uh, some questions, guys. So. Uh, I have some ideas uh, as been described in the previous video so uh, I want to start a new section on uh, making overviews of open source engines uh, with an idea to learn from the source code uh, of, the, of those engines because uh, I me mean, personally I'm going to uh, implement really lots of stuff here uh, at the moment and in order to do this it's really good idea to learn from the open source chess, chess engines and uh, I would love to share my experience of how am I doing that basically so let me know what do you think about this in the commentaries please and if you have any other uh, suggestions on what kind of videos would you like to see on this channel in the future uh, I would also greatly appreciate you for that sort of, of, uh, of information so uh, commentary section is, is all yours I'm really waiting for your feedbacks guys and this is it from my side and see you in the next videos. Until that time and take care.